Tony, it's mod time, it's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! Alright, no Giants mods today. I think we're going to look at the testing list today since it was updated. I want to do that first. Let's tease ourselves of what's possible that we're not going to get for two weeks. Oh, I think we got Superfly. This is Superfly's all-in-one underground facility, which we debuted on Mod Time. That's pretty cool. I like that one. We got a South American farm. Ovo sounds. A lot of, a lot of cross-play stuff. Under your electric prototype, what's that? I don't know. That is pretty cool. John Deere electric prototype, chat. John Deere have an electric tractor? But I'm aware. <laughs> That's why it's a prototype, I guess. Alone in the world? That's an update, right? Yeah. Arocarius? That's new, I think. Mail conveyor belt. I did see one of these on the third party sites. I wonder if that got ripped from like GitHub or something, and then this is going to be it. I almost downloaded it, but I thought it was the one we already did that didn't work very good. We got a big bud. Of course we do. Half village. Yeah, but there's a new big bud. There's a new one. big bud. I'm sure it's the old one. You know, we can always hope. Yeah. Love you, Big, but yeah, I, I'm never really a fan, I'll be honest. Dancia Pindorama, MT. Interesting. Farming Simulator 14 rebuilt map. I'll pass. Giant Sound Crystal Edition, Glengarry. Yeah, very expensive. A lot of maps for, uh, for console. Seven R's and eight R's. Yeah. Because the 2013 sucks, but the 2014, Jeff's Kiss. A lot of Lizard stuff. Massies. Man, that's a lot of. Console stuff. Pasta production. A plastic chair. This is what I'm really interested in, chat. Plastic chair. That way, I can just put my plastic chair and sit down while I watch lead work. And it's self-marketing. I think that's like the sell point. What's up, Trevor? We do have a scooter. A scooter and a schluter. The abandoned marshes. The little campaign. A lot of maps on here. Weekly. Weekly yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe it's a take off the farm production link. And you're gonna have prices. Warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Warehouse. Oh, there's a lot of console maps. That's a good thing. Modern pigs barn for lead. Sure, I got my modern pig barn. Yeah. We're gonna be buddies. We're gonna be pals. We're gonna wrestle our ass. Up, crunchy amigo, Glen Gary. That sounds Irish. I'm in. I had someone DM me last night. They're like, I want to try a European map. I want a challenge. And I was like, Yeah, Bally Springs. Like it's kind of tight. They sent me back. Like, um, are you insane? <laughs> And hey, I want to challenge. It's no joke. Looked at it. Did the same thing. Okay, it's for me. Four fields with a challenge? What, just the size of it? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. What, yeah, what's the challenge of four fields? Yeah, it can't be big. If you're not used to that sort of thing. All right. Let's go to the uh, the map. A lot of interesting stuff there on the uh... 
Not used to a tight yard? No. You're peeing on my boots. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we've got a few placeables today. But first, I have a, I have a, I have a cat for Richard. There's more Jay Weezy stuff. Got links to Jay Weezy on itch in our Discord. Exclamation Discord. Modest itch section. Find Jay Weezy stuff in there. I think this is like a telehandler. You prefer your yard's thigh? You, you like tight? I don't like tight yards, no. Don't fence me in, bro. Got 142 horsepower. I think it's interesting. Got a different angle to it, right? That angle's that way. Look at how long that is. That's what she's... Got a hitch on the back. It's a telehandler. Is this a telehandler? Pick something heavy up. Think how far you could put bales away. Right? You could be at the front of the barn and put them in the back of the barn. Can we put a weight on that thing? Or is it just a hitch? Just a hitch, but it's got a hitch. That is what she said, baby, yes. All right, let's buy a couple silage bales and see how much we can fit on there. Definitely gonna tip over, isn't it? Oh. It's a cool looking machine though. The inside's really neat. Don't don't look right. No traffic's coming, but you know. We go for a number one. I don't know. I can't see that far forward, but Put the camera over there. I think I'm in the next county. You can steal your Maybe. neighbor's bales this way. I never went on your property. In Pleasant View, Kansas. Well, that's definitely not working. You know. No, no work camera views. Probably need that thing for the L stacking challenge. Which, by the way, is on for the 24th. I'll announce that at the end. Oh, the DM or in the Discord. Be here. So look, we got three at a reasonably extended. Right? That's not bad. This. Pretty good right there, gotta say. You win FS just with that thing, man. Not to use the fairy, you just stick him in the top of the morning. I know. Pick him up and you don't even have to do like a the board toss. You just push. See? Okay, we have some errors with our lights. Texture issues. Nothing, nothing crazy though. Exhaust. Not worried about that. 
But not too bad. Do dirt wear. Oh, that's dirty. He's a dirty girl. Look at that. All that's left is a little cleanup. You want me to? All right, I'll save it for the farm. I'll save it for the farm later. Thank you, Fire Duck. It does have wear. At where? Does she fly though, chat? Exactly, Fuji. Exactly. All right, let's extend this thing all the way out. Fire duck's on the lurk. He makes me clean stuff and he runs away. See how it is. Yeah. Thing is gonna it's gonna twirl. If it'll pole vault itself in a long arm of the dog. Wow, be That's, uh, that's nuts. I don't think you can worry about not reaching stuff with that thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted on that one. It started off fantastic, but then... How did it spin backward? I don't know. Put the other way and see if it spins backwards that way. Dude, our auto drive dude just hit me in the butt. Hey, hello. Yeah, you put a bucket in there or something. Climb up there, just walk up that. And yeah, that one didn't fly as good. Uh, I didn't see anything with the stabilizer. So we can double check here. Get it on the ground. Toggle steering mode. We've got toggle steering mode, but oh, eh, eh. here we go. Yeah, now we could pick up four bales. Pretty cool. I think Jay Weezy did a good job on this one. We'll leave that right in the catapult. I could buy something. All right. So now we got some placeables for you. We got two rusty sheds. They're very cheap. Fifteen hundred bucks. We got one and two. They're not very big and they're very rusty. I don't know what the difference is. Definitely, Definitely rusty. 
Open both doors. There we go. I don't know what the difference between the two is. Really don't know what the difference is. I don't think so. Rusty Shed 1, Rusty Shed 2. Rusty Shed 2, Rusty Shed 1. <laughs> Don't I don't honestly know. Roof is different on the rest. Okay. Got lights. I don't know, it's got a neat look to it though. If you're gonna do a start from scratch, like that's pretty cool. Definitely got a distinctive look that I haven't really seen before. Rust is different on the inside. Yeah, that's more brown. This is more tin. Guess that's like worse. I don't know. I kind of like that one. I think it's neat. Yeah, shed one's a little bit a little bit newer. Quite a lot of eat, yeah. But it's kind of like I said, a neat look. I think it's kind of cool. I'd like a bigger version. Hopefully, he does a bigger version. That is pro on itch. Don't know if it's. Not okay, you mods, but it's crow. I have to find his link when I do it. If somebody wouldn't put like 18 mods and testing up on the itch page, it would be easier to find stuff. Just saying. Yeah, I'll have to find it. I can't find it right now. Post war map, that would be kind of interesting. All right, so we've got a production. Newell has put out a production along with 72 mods and testing. It is another butcher shop, so I figured we'd try that. We're always a fan of butcher shops. Butcher shop and boot maker. It looks like a cow pen. Yeah. Uh-oh. At this chat. Bad stuff happens in here. Pretty cool. We buy animals in here? Now, apparently that's the, the dump off spot. I don't know. What's going on in here? Not telling us. Something back in there. See it. I 
think we're gonna have to get some animals chat and see all right let's look and see what it's got chicken beef pork and lamb you bring the chicken beef pork and lamb in get whole chickens chicken wings chicken patties rawhide uh -huh. ground angus beef chuck filet sirloin pork rib iberian ham hamon pork loin shoulder lard pork belly lamb rack shoulder loin and chop right, here's the link to uh a newel you guys are interested in this i want to see it doing something I don't think it's going to do anything, but. Yeah, he did. Like I said, he does do a lot of updates. A lot of testing stuff and testing. As uh, it does kind of clog up the feed. I will say that. Just add stuff. But all. all right we've added a lot of that's a lot all right turn it on let's make some beef you're getting a lot out of that one pig gives you 250 of all of that what? yeah that's a lot Where do I get cleaned rawhide or tanned rawhide? Filet, filet mignon is, is worth less than sirloin. Does that make sense? So he doesn't have a sell point for this. He does have like a sell point for his stuff. He didn't put it on here. See if one comes with it. Now. So if you get on his stuff, you need a sell point. He like I said, he's got a sell point, but I don't know. It's an interesting building. It's a butcher shop. If you want a butcher shop. Production mode is 5 to 17. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that is. You've ever seen that on a production before. Unless it shuts down at night. Maybe that's a time. I don't know. Not very fast, but that's okay. Cheap. That is a lot of products to be spitting out. Yeah, they put a butcher shop in the barn. I mean, it's a cool building. All the little signs and everything are neat. But it's just a barn repurposed. Got the milk over there. You know, but you might. Yeah, so have I. So I'm wondering if that's what that is. We'll get to like five o'clock and see. Hopefully, it'll spit out some pallets too. I think the one we had on uh, the last one we used have a time. Yeah, the one we 
on the MRE, dude. Yeah. Everyone's always looking for a butcher shop. This seems like a simple one to use. You don't need EAS. Looks like. All right, it did stop at 17. That is the time. Fillet Mignon. Yes. It did stop. Oh, I can't spawn because it's closed? Oh, wow. Oh, I can change. There you go. You want to learn how to edit a production. Right there. Thank you, Fuji. Change the time. Neat, but I hate it. Why do you hate it? Nice boxes. Kind of cool. He always does really good with the graphics. I like I like his graphics. Some of his productions are a little bit uh, applicated, but uh, he does a he does a good job. I mean, this is a pretty simple butcher shop. I think the pricing is a little bit off, but other than that. It is running. It does have a time. It doesn't have any health or anything. I didn't see anything about that. Uh, looks to be fairly good size. And it's got a collision around this whole area. Let's just spawn as much as we can. I don't know. Oh, it's not spawning anymore. What's up, Ragnar? Doing good. Seems going good so far. Looks like this is what you got. Man, that's a neat palette. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Now, now that's a bit of an issue. Looks like these pallets don't have the collision all the way up to the top, but. Oh, so, yeah, the pallet there just doesn't have the collision all the way. You can see it stops right there. Yeah, but not a big deal. They're gorgeous looking. I think he does a really good job. I think guys go check out his stuff. He does some really cool stuff. Um, thank you, Oki. Yeah, he he's he's pretty pretty inventive. Got mods from Giants? All right.
we will transition let me just see i just want to show the lazy e expandable pastures real quick that came out a few days ago or last week i just kind of want to show that real quick yeah he does really good stuff on that so we got lazy ease Expandable pastures be a lot of links for me so this one is just literally it's 100 cows right but it's just the the ring in the in the in the bucket now you do have to have the uh the um spano pastures mod itself so you know now you can add you know this to that so if you want just the feed ring in the middle there or something like that you connect that to that and now you have a big pasture with just the ring and the feed thing And I think this, I think this takes all the bales. I think. Yeah. PC mods. Yeah, we'll get to those after I do this. So this would be like a true pasture pasture. You know, you can fence it in however you want. Yep. Bales out of the sky. Which I think is pretty cool because then you don't have to have like the whole barn thing. Technically an actual pasture. Right? Instead of this one as your as your pasture, right, with the with the standard triggers there, which are kind of weird. That one has got a whole like realistic look to it. Handsome guy right there. Yeah, I like the look of these for a pasture. Yeah, basically he just added the expandable pastures thing to his speed ring in water trough. Yeah, I think I think this is a good option, I think, because again, as a pasture, you know, quote unquote, it's a pasture, right? It's an expandable barn, but as a pasture, if you just like go to a random area in your map. You know, you can make an actual, like, pasture. And Lazy he makes good stuff, so check him out. And Giants has released some stuff. Five of them. So let's go look over there. Right, we have updates. If Co. If Canader updated enhanced mixer wagons. Fixed for the following error add density map pipe type. Okay. Minor script changes. Fixed for the straw harvest add on. New fill plane texture for unfinished total mixed ration with straw. So that had the mixing time on it. couple of different fill plane textures there for the for those two minutes 10 seconds yeah interesting all right we got a cbt add-on update 0.001 Motor start with config, no fixed. No fixed. Auto drive course play with switch back and forth too wildly. 
EBL parameters adjusted, no idea. Boat on the hog Berkman cannot be Okay, wheelbarrow is excluded. Speed curve adjusted. Okay, a lot. Heating FS2 reduced. Translation text. Memory function revised. Help menu updated. Well, that's very complicated if you have that. Good luck. Dashboard live is on 1.4. Yeah, a lot. Port for variable working with and cruise control and speed control, realistic damage system. Play the set speed for VCA keep speed, cover opening, cultivator type, filling material display. Okay. A lot of, lot of new things there too. Don't use that one very ever. I don't think anyone's. I don't know who uses this one. Kind of cool. The Metal Fox 229. Improved collisions, maximum attached rotation angle increased, and speed up of animation of support foot folding. When you detach it, faster, better. Two is original, they're too busy, you want to work on something original. I mean, look, anybody can work on whatever they want. It seems like it's easier to get stuff like that on the Mod Hub. I don't know. What's, what's the update to this? I see no update, chat. Still on PC only, I see no update. Less simple IC is recommended. I don't see an update. Seriola gets an update. No new save game, bakery gate collision, and NPC traffic stopping fixed. So fix that. Traffic and a collision. No new save. Finish map. Not a bad layout. Give it that. All right, new stuff. I'm guessing this is manure system stuff, but yeah, manure system. Fifteen hundred bucks for the Cote Garant docking station. Up slurry with a suction arm. No longer have to attach and detach a hose. So you put that down and you just hook up to there. Okay. Got a crone. 72 grand. 6,000 liters. Pretty good size. Liftable front axle, different tire configurations. I mean, it's a... Uh, Trailer. Cap transport wagon. Yes, Richard. Thank you for paying attention. FTG Califal. 30 grand. Nine tons. Double beam frame, train, and a trailer. Don't care for these. They suck at them. That's the reason. Got a pretty long crane, though. I'll give it that. Not going to put a, t a lot of long logs in there, but. Namislo Sharp. Namislo? 14,900. It is cultivator. It is six meters. 130 horsepower. Adjustable working depth. Copying of the terrain. Each section is independent. I like that. Got 
shaft configurations. I need a shaft configuration. Track eradicators. Get that thing. All of those are independent. Kind of neat. Six meter cultivator. Pretty cheap. And lastly, we got a four pack. There's four more than I have. Ursus four pack. 1984 to 2009. There's only 4,857 copies. 58 grand, 155 horsepower. It's all the configurations, everything, all the colors. Uh, I'm guessing just engine engine configurations. Here's your four different tire configurations on the front. I don't know if those are four wheel or two wheel. There's uh, four different variations. I don't really see much variation. You got lights up there are different. I don't, I don't know if there's any horsepower differences, but. That's the 1014. C385A, so there, there's differences, but. The weight plate is different. Like that weight plate is more underneath. That one's sticking out there. Ursus four pack. There you go. Tractor, cool cultivator, trailer, manure system stuff. Then, of course, the missing update for this. There you go. Time for big guy. Tony's mod time. It's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. Mod time.